All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahawakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and many blessings to the elect Akiam across the four winds of this earth, kicking this word in sincerity and the truth. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, and I wanted to go into a lesson in regards to remembering the Sabbath and keeping it holy. And as we entered into a few hours ago, the Shabbat, and that started um, as the sun had went down. All right, so this would be the, the third the third Shabbat of this month. I believe, it was the, I believe it was the third Shabbat of this month. All right. And then next week, uh, next week you have um, sundown on Monday. That's going to be the last Shabbat of the month. And on Wednesday, which will be the 13th, that will start the new moon. All right. And brothers go into it quite a bit. But it, it's the reason why I'm going to it through the spirit because, you know, brothers keep keep asking the question of is it a double Sabbath? Is it a double Sabbath? And technically, there's no such thing as a double Sabbath. All right. You don't find a double Sabbath nowhere within the scriptures. OK, there's no such thing as a double Sabbath. Now you have the Sabbath, the last Sabbath of the month. All right. And then two days following would be the new moon. And that's likened to a Sabbath, but it's not the Shabbat. The Shabbat is going to be on Monday when the sun goes down. And then the new moon again, which is likened as a Sabbath, starts Wednesday at even. Okay? But the reason why I'm saying this, because it's very important that we remember this day. All right? You got certain brothers that might ask here and there, like, um... Is the Shabbat come in tonight? Which, you know, you're not wicked if you ask those questions. Well, with this being part of our culture and part of our heritage, it's important for us to know when the Shabbat is. Okay, it's important for us to know when the Shabbat is, when the next one's coming in, and so forth. All right? And there's different apps that you can actually download to see when the new moon is coming in. All right? Now, of course, through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's placed on the Spirit on our apostles to put a video out and let us know which is beautiful you know but also for the brothers that might not see the videos you can you can download the app there's plenty of different lunar apps where you can know what, what type of moon's coming up when the new moon is coming when the full moon is coming and so forth it really just takes it just goes into you taking initiation to do it all right so i got a few scriptures i'm going to go into and it's in, it's going to be in regards of the shabbat okay so this is the book of Genesis chapter 2 for, I'm, I'm going to start at verse 2 You know, I might as well start at verse 1 And it says and You got to excuse me, I'm driving right now So it says Thus the heavens and the earth were finished And all the host of them Alright And this is all done on the seventh day When all the works were finished Okay So it says And on the seventh day The Alahayim not the most high, but the Allah Hayim. Of course, you know, this is all commanded through the Heavenly Father. But he had placed Yahweh Shai and the rest of the host to, to execute, to execute that creation. Okay? So it says, and on the seventh day, the Allah Hayim ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. All right? So this seventh day... It's supposed to be placed in remembrance of rest. Now, granted, of course, we're in captivity. So you're not, with you having a certain job that you might have, you might not be able to rest on the Sabbath, all right, on the seventh day, you know? But that doesn't mean that you can't keep it holy. That doesn't mean that you can't remember it because it's important. It's within our heritage. The Heavenly Father had rested on the seventh day, and he wants us to keep in remembrance of it. Again, with us being in captivity, you might not be able to keep it, all right? But it's important that you at least acknowledge it and refrain from certain things that you might do on other days because it is a holy day, you know? I got one more scripture I'm going to go into, and it's in the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter. And I'm going to start, let's see. I'm going to start from the top. 
all right and this goes into the ten commandments okay and these are important to know because these are of course you have 600 plus laws within the holy scriptures but there's 10 key commandments that we're supposed to remember and we're supposed to place in action and none of them are grievous okay so when you read exodus chapter 20 verse 1 it says in the most high spake all these words saying i am yahweh thy power which have brought thee out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage so he's already putting that in recognition who he is and what he had done for us and when you go into how we were delivered out of egypt that was a very key deliverance because we were slaves in egypt for 400 years so him delivering delivering us out of egypt was an immense display of his power and the things that he can do for the ones that he loves all right he remembered our bondage he remembered our cries that we had for him so it's important for us that we remember the things that he did for us and we remember the instructions that he instructed us to do all right that are that are uh expedient okay so i'm going to continue in verse three it says thou shalt have no other gods before me thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or the likeness of anything in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth Thou shalt not bow thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of thy fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right? And that goes into how he's, he's going he's to judge us, man, even from our fathers doing things all the way forward up to four generations down. You know? I mean, think about in Egypt. We were in Egypt for 400 years. That's pretty much for four generations. Okay? So I'm going to keep going. It says in verse 6, And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain. For the Lord, Salakim, For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Alright? I'm going to continue in verse 8. Now, this is the key point, all right? Verse 8 says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, all right? Now, of course, granted, we know pursuing the Genesis, the second chapter, in the second and third verse, it referenced the seventh day, all right? Which, when you go into the creation, that technically wasn't the seventh day, but it was the 7,000th year, all right? But pursuing to Peter, the second Peter, the third chapter, it goes into how to, how one day to the Heavenly Father is as of a thousand years. And a thousand years is as of one day. All right? So, thus keeping the Sabbath, remembering the Sabbath and keeping it holy, that's a, acknowledging the works of the Heavenly Father and how He was able to complete the whole work of creation of everything. All right? So, granted, you might not be able to take off that day and if you can't take off that day, that's what's up. But it's important that we at least remember the Sabbath. Because that's one of the Ten Commandments. To remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. Alright? It doesn't say remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Which, of course, to keep it holy and and keeping it holy are synonymous for one another anyway. So they both, you know, they both apply. But you remember the Sabbath so you can keep it holy. Alright? Let's say, for example, the Sabbath falls around and you don't remember it. You might do any. You, you might be with your woman. You know, go into your woman that night, or do or, or do um, other things, just because you didn't acknowledge it was a Shabbat and you didn't remember it. You know, but if you actually remember the Sabbath, and if you in the spirit, you going you gonna try your best to keep it holy. And again, that that means refraining from your worldly desires, refraining from things that you usually do. You know, to keep it holy. Now I want to go into this uh, word "remember," which is something that we all know, but I kind of I just want to pull it up in the Hebrew and find a deeper definition. Because when you go into the word "remember," it's "zakar," like the prophet Zakaria. That means the Most High remembers. You have the word "zakar," which means "remember." Okay. So it says to remember, to recall, to call to mind. All right. It says to be brought to remembrance, to remember, 
be thought of to be brought to mind to cause to remember to remind and of course it's very important as as as, as being brethren to remind each other when the shabbat is coming in and that's why the, the apostles post the videos reminding us all right just doing their part you know being um being keepers to the sheep being shepherds okay that's what you're supposed to do being a good leader being a good shepherd tending to the sheep and reminding them letting them know all right so it says in mention to record to make a rem uh, to make a memorial make remembrance okay so the word remember is pretty much self-explanatory but you have a few of those words that really stood that really stood out like remind or recall or to mention all right so when you go into the scripture in Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 where it says remember the Sabbath day it means to recall to be reminded of or pretty much to acknowledge that it's the Sabbath day all right now granted I mean it's times I'm not I'm not gonna say I haven't ever forgotten it before you know I've forgotten it before and other brothers have forgotten it before too that's why we need mercy that's why we need to be delivered from this flesh so we don't forget things like this but the deeper that we get into this thing and the higher that we elevate within this faith, all right, it's more important that we sharpen up on certain things and the Shabbat being one of them because it is one of the Ten Commandments, all right? And that's very important because these commandments aren't grievous. Of course, you can't follow every single last commandment to the T, you know? It's a lot of laws that you see within the scriptures and it's like, man, I, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that within the kingdom. But when you look at Deuteronomy 20 and 8 where it says, remember the Sabbath, that's something that's doable. All right. And it takes diligence. You know, it takes being sincere to really want to remember. Not saying that you're not sincere if you forget. Again, like I mentioned a second ago, you know, stuff happens. But we, we, we want to make sure that we sharpen up on the mistakes that we've made in the past so we can continue to press toward the mark all right so we can continue to be blameless within that day because that's what we're all fighting for we're all fighting for a crown and we're all fighting to be blameless okay but i'm going to end it off on that lord willing it was edifying i want to give all praise all honor and all glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim Dash. i want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of great millstone that rule well peace salutations and many blessings to you like i came across the four corners of this earth kicking this word in sincerity and the truth shalom